Please be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station, the management, and its network. Mendoza with your Real Talk Master, M.A. Buendia, your mysterious hunk, Chris Abaya. Missing today ang ating mga girls, si uh, yes. Yulabay at si Zara. Pero we are in more than capable hands as we are welcoming back no, si Miss <laughs> Jasmine Cacho. Sa mga yes. kanilang mga sabi ng solution by Bay sa ating news at uh, so this is and Meron tayong Welcome bagong kabaranggay, oh, di ba? Meron tayong bagong kabaranggay. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, you are going to be doing uh, a new show, show date, recent, yeah. uh, in the coming future. So I'll give you a chance to uh, plug that. But for our uh, weekly 8pm viewers, can you tell them a little bit of uh, who you are? Very exciting po ang ating guest <laughs> yeah. and topic today. I know. Okay, thanks guys. And um, first of all, it's nice to be here. Parabang, it's nice to be around young people. I think when I started with GNN about maybe uh, more than 12 years ago because mm -hmm. uh, we, um, GNN was still in Katipuna nung time na yun. Katipuna. Mas ano mm -hmm. pa ako. Siguro kaidaran ko kayo. Baka mas matanda pa rin. <laughs> Pero it's nice to be back here and um, I'm, ano, I'm excited for the new show that um, I have with uh, Mara which is uh, going to start sometime soon but um, it's in the planning stage. So it's basically a bit of culture, history and stuff like that tying one generation to the next. Aww. Nice. Nice. How about so you, Jess? <coughs> how, how do you want us to address you? Like, Will, Will, yeah. Will, yeah. Will. 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 okay. Will. Guys, please welcome Will to the show. Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. Will. Like, we were talking about this before the show went on air. Parang you go by William Fio. Yes. But you are an Indonesian national, and you were talking a little bit about uh, your last name, and how did it uh, get to oh. you? Well, it's a long name. It's actually, my, my dad is Thai Indonesian, so... Um, mm -hmm. It's like Theo Chula Raj Montre, but when he started college and um, he went to UCLA, it was, I mean, I guess back in the day it was crazy. <laughs> so um, he, they, they cut it to that. Right. And then they ended up that yon, until, until, until now. Yeah. But you are born and... No, I, I was here. born here um, and then I went, to, uh, Indonesia, I went to school in Jakarta until I was 12. Went to high school here and then I went to, uh, to college in San Francisco. All right. Yeah, so that was basically it. And I worked there for like maybe two years before. Do you, do you know how to speak the Bahasa? Yes, I am a Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, there's something with the yung, yung certain height, no? Yung look and the, the, the uh -oh. jaw. Yeah. Kasi mm. may lahi mo pa, Thai, Indonesia. Yes. I love it. Diba? <laughs> Simula pala yung very interesting na si Will. And for sure, this one will also be relatable naman para sa ating mga viewers. Which I'm sure, young or old, everyone can relate to. Kasi we are at that stage, well, for most of us anyways, that we are making this decision to push through a particular field or not. Ano nga ba talaga ang gusto natin sa buhay? Kasi we, as millennials, we tend to believe that finding the work that you love, there's a saying na para you don't need to work a day in your life, di ba? So you find your passion. So yan, mga pag-uusapan natin, ano nga ba yung kasunod, what now, and anything related to that. Yes, kasi for this episode, we are going to talk about careers. Alam ko, before we, uh, we, we talked about this mm. na, pero kasi feeling ko uh, mas interesting ngayon that we have new people in the, yeah. the group <laughs> na who can probably share more about their experiences. Kasi di ba, um, I, I know parang having a career, it's not just a responsibility, but... Uh, it's like a chosen path. Yes. Na we, when we were kids, we had ambitions, we had like uh, goals or mm -hmm. dreams, na mas abstract. But right now, um, as you go into the 
adult stage of your life, of course, you get to plan or you get to think na parang, okay, what do I really want to do for the rest of my life, di ba? So if we're talking about passion and how to turn it into work, uh, what pa rin or how can you do it kahit pa may mga days na parang you feel na parang, I, I, I'm not sure if this is still I want. This is still something that I really want to do. Lahat naman tayo na experience sa mga ganon. So I think it's going to be a really, really interesting episode. Yes. Given that lahat tayo may mga pinagdaanan na <laughs> like ako, di ba? I've been working for like sobrang majority part of my life na. Mm. How about you, Chris? Like, what can you say about this episode that we're going to have today? Uh, tingin ko mas magan mas magiging broad yung topic natin kasi nalalak ko last time. Um, hindi pa natin napag-usapan yung like exactly yung kagaya niya na kagaya ni bro na mm-hmm. may career talaga mm-hmm. di ba so gusto ko ngayon i-differentiate yung ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng job sa career yes, yes exactly mm-hmm. feeling ko we can start with I mean what what was your ambition when you were a kid di ba kasi gusto, yung, yung iba hindi naman kung <laughs> ano yung ambition nila hindi naman lahat na porso yon or hindi oh. naman yun talaga they were able to live it mm-hmm. ikaw Chris ano yung parang gusto, oh, gusto mo talaga ako gusto ko talagang maging part ng military mm-hmm. kaya lang ayaw, ayaw ni daddy kasi sabi niya, sabi niya naalala ko pa pagkakasabi niya sa akin gusto mo mamatay <laughs> <laughs> negative agad <okay. laughs> pero bakit yun yung isip mo because mga movies no? hindi movies. bata pa kasi ako nun eh in, gusto ko kasi nung ano yung action ganyan yeah. yung talagang uh, ano bang tawag doon? Basta yung talagang kumikinos ako. Hindi yung yeah. puro mental ano lang. Ganun. Parang k- kailan siya na-break? Parang feeling ko this is not for me. And... Siguro nung high school. Yun. Kasi lagi niya sinasabi na wag daw. Mm. Sumali pa nga ako doon sa ano eh. Sa group ng mga nag-airsoft. Oh yeah. Ayun. Pero high school di ba yun yung may C80? So you get to practice uh, a little ay, bit. Hindi ko na naabot. Ah, na. Hindi. Oh ah, yeah, because you're young. Sorry. Hindi <laughs> 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 well tayo ng atama ko. Ay ay ay. ROTC. Na buta mo ba? Na buta mo ba? C80 called before. Yeah. <laughs> Sayang no. Yeah. yeah. How about you, uh, Jess? Ako nakatawa kasi nung bata ako, medyo mababaw lang talaga yung gusto ko. Gusto ko lang makita sa TV. <laughs> yan lang talaga yung sinasabi ko sa... <laughs> Ito na, ito na. Yan lang talaga yung ko sa mami ko. Sabi ko, mami, gusto ko makita sa TV. Tapos syempre, pag nagpo-progress yung age mo, medyo nagkakaroon ka na rin ng idea kung ano ba talaga specifically yung gusto mo mangyari. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, parang yung mami ko pa nga, sinasabi niya sa akin, gusto mo mag-audition tayo sa mga star magic, yes. ganyan, mag-VTR tayo. So, na-try mo yung mga audition? Hindi, kasi mahihain ako, mm. sobrang mahihain ako. Pero when I was in elementary pa lang, nag-start na ako with journalism, with writing, mm. tapos high school broadcasting, college, communication. Pero when I started working, I really thought na hindi ko na ma-achieve na maging news reporter. <laughs> kasi parang doon ako yung na-hit ng life na minsan, kasi, ito kasi yung medyo borderline eh, na, Minsan kasi, in reality, yung mga dream job natin, um, hindi natin siya ma-achieve dahil we need to uh, make our ends meet. Mm-hmm, parang yeah. uh, may mga ganun din consideration. So, una muna, parang nag-work muna ako for um, US-based na mga media company. And no medyo, 24 pa lang ako doon na. Pero sabi ko, parang ang tanda ko na ata. Kailangan ko na ata ang ano, tanggapin na hindi na ako magiging reporter. Pero isang random day, nag-apply ako <coughs> dito sa GenN. Tapos ayun, here we are now. Congratulations. Now you're here. Now you're here. Yeah. I think you're still, you know, you're still on, the, on your way to that uh, ambition of yours. Mm-hmm. But yes. I think feeling ko yung, yung mga path na tinake mo in college, feeling ko ano na yun, recipe na yun for uh, whatever na talaga ano mong gusto mong gawin. Oo, oh, tsaka kasi diba pag media, parang akala ko kasi talaga, well, totoo naman, magsistart ka talaga from parang behind the scene. Uh, oh. Parang naranasan ko rin yun in other big, bigger networks talaga. Tapos parang naranasan ko mamalengke at 4am, mm-hmm. ganong level. So parang sabi ko, baka hindi talaga ako on cam, baka off cam talaga ako sa likod ng camera. Medyo tinanggap ko na yun. Pero ayun, we're very lucky na we're here. Nice. <laughs> nice. Ikaw, MA, anong Hindi. dream, ano mo? Hindi, ako, ako you, you won't believe this. Kasi di ba, when you were a kid, iba, iba yung parang influence sa'yo eh. Like, oh. uh, di ba nga, yung, yung parents ko kasi, yung, yung father said, you're very religious. So, um, born again Christian sila. And then, yung sa mother said, you naman, it's Catholic. So, when I was a kid, talagang, I, I really wanted to be a priest. Wow! <laughs> Ganun lang! <laughs> I, 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 tapos alam ko na break yung mga elementary ako kasi sinabi sa akin parang may, may lolo told me na parang kapag kapag pare ka mag magbimisa ka sa patay do you want to you, you know parang do it with dead people tapos doon ako natakot and then nagiba-iba siya nag, yung nag high school na ako nakikita ko yung uniform ng mga doctor sabi ko parang ang puti ang linis and then yung nagka, mga college na ako sabi ko 
doon ka na sinampal ng reality na parang, ay, wala pala kami yung pera, hindi pala namin kaya mag Oo, oh, yung mga ganun. So, syempre, na ganun ka, um, pinaka-safe, okay, computer science. Sabi ko, okay, man, galing naman ako, techie naman ako, mm-hmm. ganun. And then, um, after graduation, may insecurity, of course, ninisip ko, although nagkumulawari pa ako na na, but may insecurity, super laka siya na parang feeling ko, yung nasa real, real world ka na. Kasi feeling mo in school, parang feeling mo, galing ka, ganyan. Tapos, napunta ka doon sa industry na gusto mo, tapos feeling mo, ang dami mo palang di alam. Tapos, ang dami pa palang mas mga galing sa'yo. So, pumunta ako sa, ano, sa BPO, nag-call center ako mm-hmm. for three years. And then, another opportunity came na parang, the, the company asked for applicants kung sino yung gusto matuto ng third language. And then, they offered free uh, training, which is going to last for six to eight months. And I was like, feeling ko this will change my life if ever. That time, hindi pa ganun kabooming yung mga bilingual or trilingual na. So, I studied for a year kasi may, may immersion pa yon mm-hmm. another, you know, tapos minsan wala pa kami projects. And then right now, I, I'm, I'm still working but in the mining industry na. So, may kita mo na parang yung path ko talaga from wanting to be a priest, doctor, shifting or na, talaga, shifting. No? <laughs> may, may nagsaya pa sa akin na, feeling ko, dahil masyado kong opinionated, you could be a lawyer. And naisip ko, hindi siya bagay sa personality ko because tama na kong mean. Like, I mean, you have to, you know, consider yung book, si mga uh-huh. ganyan. Feeling ko, whenever nag-iisip ko ng dream mo, kailangan match din siya sa personality mm-hmm. para mag- mag-succeed ka doon. Before we go to the, the guest natin, kay Waki muna, interested daw. Kasi siya very, ano siya sa wrestling eh. Ano yung gusto mo talaga when you were a kid? Ay, alam mo, good thing na nabing up mo yan. Kasi uh, one of my first uh, dreams as a kid na actually growing up is nakapag uh, Olympics na Taekwondo oh. player. Which obviously is uh, easier said than done. Contact sports talaga yung gusto. Yeah, yeah. Pero, I mean, despite not uh, obviously attaining that dream, uh, it set me naman on that trajectory na kahit na paano nagtuloy-tuloy uh, siyang uh, hobby sa akin. It might not have translated into like a super-duper stable career, but uh, I guess I've had a chance then to get a little bit of uh, project. I don't know if... Uh, People know this about me, no? Pero nag... Uh, I, I... Bago mag-pandemic, dream job ko talaga to. Uh, as in, and you know how big of a fan I am of Joe Rogan. Uh, mm-hmm. I started calling... Uh, doing commentary for uh, Muay Thai okay. and uh, MMA fights. Which, uh, although it was always a dream of mine, uh, there is no clear trajectory naman right. to uh, get to that. And how many... During that time, how many uh, combat sports were actually covered by uh, media? So realistically speaking, di naman sa big break na pang ESPN na limpak limpak na pera. But to be able to do that yes. in a local setting, and it was recognized by the World Boxing <coughs> Council internationally also. And uh, ako, that was uh, maybe it didn't come back to me financially right away, pero That was one of those cases where uh, I felt that I got my dream job yeah. mm-hmm. But uh, I, I think, think sometimes it's yeah. not just about you know earning from it, but you know what, what you're really passionate about, so it feeds your soul, diba? Yes. Having said that though, and ako, uh, we always talk about careers one way or another, kahit anong topic natin. I remember one of the things uh, I said, and ako, I want to end this with this lang for segment, no? Na, a lot of the times, uh, burnout is a real thing. Right. Yes. Uh, I feel like sa ating mga host, kasi ako yung pinaka may extensive, or you or I, yung pinaka extensive na corporate background. Mm-hmm. So it's funny that people don't know that about me too, kasi na parang given how I got my start in the industry, ang tagal kong nag uh, corporate and uh, accounts management. Honestly, I did not like the job at first mm-hmm. and then siyempre you have no choice you gotta pay your bills so right you, keep, you, you, you get going at it and then eventually i got to a place where i actually liked it but it wasn't my dream job mm-hmm. but you know eh, parang getting to a place all of a sudden na uh, oh yeah it's all uh clicking for me so ako as we head into the break gusto ko lang ipaalala sa mga kamillennials na right. if you are experiencing burnout i mean uh, of course prioritize your mental health, but try sticking around for a while or try just switching your perspective when it comes right. to... Talk to uh, your mentor as well. Yeah, talk to your mm-hmm. mentor. No, And ako, ang dami nating tips na pwede pang i-discuss sa pagbabilik ng I think, yes. Team. 